Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, I want to show you how you can embed your Remind, formerly Remind 101, messages into your Blogger blog or Google Sites website. Uh, this is a nice feature for students and parents who perhaps have decided they don't want to receive messages from you on their personal mobile devices, but by putting them on a blog or website, they can still see all the messages that you send out to everybody else in your class uh, without having to receive them on their cell phones themselves. So let's go ahead and get started here. In the upper right hand corner, I'm signed into my account. Let's go to My Widgets. And at first, I'm going to select all of my classes here. Uh, you can also choose to embed just one of your classes. So you can see I have History 1, History 2. Uh, but I'm going to embed messages from all of my classes. And I'm just going to use the regular code. This regular code is what I'm going to use to embed my messages into my Blogger blog. So I'm just going to copy that code. And now here in my sample Blogger blog, I am signed in and I have the layout option selected. Let's go ahead and add a gadget. And the gadget that we're going to add here is the HTML gadget. Let's go ahead and click the Add button. And now I'm just going to paste in that code that I copied from Remind. You can give it a title if you want to, but it's not necessary. We'll save it and save the arrangement. Now we can view the blog. As you can see here, this is a blog I made for a bunch of random things at some point. And over here on the right hand side, we now see those messages embedded into the blog. So anyone visiting the blog can see those messages. If I want to move that down on the page, let's say I want to move it down below the slideshow, just click and drag it and move it to a different position on the page. I can even embed it above all of the blog post content. Just save the arrangement. And refresh it and now we'll see that the widget is there above the main blog post content. That's not a great place for it so let's drag it back over to the right hand side and save it. So that's how you can embed Remind into your Blogger blog. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that on Google Sites. So for Google Sites you do want to select the Google Sites option here in your Remind account and again copy that code and then just follow the directions that Remind gives for you. Okay. So just going to copy that code. Let's go ahead to a sample Google site that I have. Let's edit the page and we're going to insert a gadget. We'll go to more gadgets. And we'll select add gadget by URL. Now let's paste in that code we were given before from Remind. And we may need to back up and put in the HTTP again. There we go. Make sure we don't have any extra spaces in there. And now click Add. And you can set the parameters for how wide you want it to be on the screen. If you want it to be 100%, or if you want it to be uh, specified with pixels, let's say we want to make it 400 pixels wide and 300 pixels tall. We can do that. We'll include a scroll bar. The reason I'm going to include the scroll bar is once I've started to send a lot of messages through Remind, my students will need an option to scroll through uh, to keep up with everything. Let's click OK. And at first it's going to appear as just this gray Google gadget. So let's save it. And now we can see there are the messages I'm sending from our Remind account embedded directly into my Google site. So that's how you can embed Remind messages into your Blogger blog or Google site. The process is the same if you want to use it on Wix. Uh, you can grab the Wix code and place it in the appropriate place on your Wix site. And if you're putting this into a self-hosted WordPress blog, 
again, you use the regular, uh, regular code that's available through Remind. So for more tips and tricks like this, check out freetechforteachers.com.